Alright, back again, Luke here. And today we've got out the old top-loading Famicom, and I figured we could put in this game here. Summer Carnival 92. So, let's pop this in and play some of that. Now this is by far one of the coolest, hardest, and most expensive games out there for the Famicom. This is such an awesome game, and so brutal, that you can see why it fetches the price that it does. Um, we'll turn this on here, I'll let you guys take a look at the intro. It's not very long, but um, yeah, this game, I'll try and explain some of the controls right here because we don't have a lot of time before the game starts up. Controls are basically, uh, if you let the, um, the weapon, the main weapon charge up and you don't press any buttons, you'll have a bomb which basically forms at the front of your ship. And by pressing the B button, that'll launch it out and uh, it'll cause a huge explosion. If you press and hold down the B button, that'll create like a rapid shot. If you press and hold the A button when you have sidearms, that'll allow your sidearms to fire. And pressing the select button will change the speed of your ship. Now you can see the speed is down the left hand corner here. This game is so hard that uh, even talking while playing it is just bound to cause serious death. So we'll give it a shot here, we'll try our best and uh, we'll jump into it right now. Uh, the music and everything about this game is just fantastic. Start it up here, change our speed down a little bit. I like to have mine a little bit slow. This game is one of those games where if you don't play by its rules, it will eat you alive. This game does not mess around at all. And uh, it's by far one of the hardest games I've ever played. And uh, on any system. It's just ridiculously difficult. But it's so cool that, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's hard to, hard to even describe. It's got a really wild kind of techno track to it, techno soundtrack. And it's kind of hard to hear with all the bullets flying, but it is really, really cool. And it throws so much stuff at you, and it still manages to keep the pace up. There's not any slowdown. This game actually it plays awesome. It's really, really smooth. But uh, yeah, it's the most unforgiving game I've ever played. Uh, shooter fans will definitely love this. Um, we're coming up on our first boss here. Um, you've all heard the phrase that uh, it's all about the power-ups. Well, with this game here, it's definitely all about the power-ups. Without the power-ups here, you're just begging for death. Um, things like this here, without any power-ups, it's if you can find a good spot to stay, um, you might be able to save yourself, but yeah. The lack of power-ups will cause it to take longer to uh, defeat a stage, or uh, you might you may, might even cause you to continuously die here, but the more power-ups you have, the faster you can defeat a stage, and the longer you can stay alive. There are plenty of power-ups in here, and it's really difficult to describe what each one does. As you can see, I'm just getting random power-ups here, just so you guys can see the differences and the different ones. There's some great ones here that allow um, you know, your sidearms to revolve around your ship once you get it. This game does give you power-ups every once in a while too, um, or uh, one-ups. So it's not something that it gives you very often. It kind of gives you it when uh, it feels you've deserved them. And uh, they float around in the middle of the screen here. If you get them, then great. As you can see right there, there's one of them. But uh, yeah, if you don't pick it up in the correct amount of time, you will lose it. And if you don't pick it up when there's, uh, you know, nothing on screen or when there's too much on screen, you risk your life trying to get it, so. This game is just awesome on so many different levels. And this second stage boss here is so hard that uh, you can expect to die at least the first couple times fighting him. Just because uh, you have to stay in between this and the most difficult part about this is that you never know which direction he's gonna go, and uh, you have to press the controller very lightly. So, as you can say, I'm already dying. But uh, the first time I played this, this is about the fourth time I've had a chance to play this here. I still haven't, uh, you know, played much more past this stage, just because. Yeah, it's it's rough. That being said, though, it is so cool. I'm 
need some extra lives here, or else I am just not gonna last. Ah, oh, jeez. This might be where it ends, guys. Wow. Yeah, that's it. But as you can see there, I mean, it is a, uh, a brutal game. Very, very hard game. It does take a, a lot of skill. And when you're playing it while you're talking, this is not exactly something that you can do very easily. But nonetheless, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a look at uh, what Summer Carnival 92 looks like here for the Famicom. And uh, like I had mentioned, uh, I had mentioned this on Facebook too, but a loose cart for this game alone will go for around $400 or so, even on up. Uh, this game in a box will run anywhere from $700 to $1,300. It's not exactly the, uh, the cheapest game to find, but for those hardcore shooter fans out there, you're really looking for a challenge and an awesome game, you might want to try and pick this one up. Uh, you know, if you if you have the budget for it. If not, definitely give it a shot with one of the Famicom or Nintendo emulators, because it'll be one that you won't regret. It'll give you a run for your money. Even nowadays, it, this game is you know over 20 years old, and it's still it's still rocking. So. See if by some strange chance of uh, luck we might be able to do a bit better. I can see that I've already died quite a few times there at the beginning, so it's not looking so good, but we can hope. Just to make it a little bit longer than a five minute video, because uh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> Should let this thing build up here. But uh, I think with a bit more practice, this game can be extremely enjoyable. Definitely playing it only a handful of times is not going to give you the, uh, you know, the correct gauge of how difficult the entire game is, as well as you know how fun the game is. So the more that you play it, it's kind of like a learning curve. The the better you can hopefully get at it, and uh, the more that you can learn from it. And hopefully you guys found this a little bit enjoyable here. I know it's not the best gameplay in the world, that's for sure, but. Just want to show you guys a bit of a look at the game, and uh, yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Watching some Summer Carnival Death 92 in 2013. Well, that's very thoughtful of them to give me Free life. Very, very kind. Just let me survive this boss here without losing too many lives, and that would be freaking awesome. But he comes up so quick, and. Oh, jeez. I didn't even notice that. Oh, man. This is where it's gonna start. Arr. Last one there. It's okay. Let's just hope we can get some power-ups here, please. Just a few would be nice. To at least keep me alive for a little while. There! That's not doing it. Um, 
hopefully we can get a little bit further this time. Jeez, I didn't... Oh, just a little bit further. Not far enough, though. <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll let the intro music here roll through just a little bit so you guys can listen to that.